Real 92.3, Big Boys Neighborhood. Your girl Natalia here with someone who is so talented, so beautiful. I feel like I, should, I shouldn't even be allowed to be in your presence. Paula Patton, how are you? Oh, Natalia, you're crazy. Thank <laughs> you. I'm, I'm I'm excellent with that intro, except for that part. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, it's so cute because, like, everyone who, be, before you walked in here, like, a couple people that saw you in the hallway were like, oh, my God, she is so gorgeous in person. Oh, man, she looks exactly like she does on TV. Aww. I mean, did, you are absolutely gorgeous, but we are here to talk about your new movie and uh, Traffic. How did this project come to about? Like, how did it come to you? You know, it was an interesting thing. I'm, I'm I'm friends with Jeff Clanigan, who's the owner and president of Code Black Entertainment, mm-hmm. and which helped make this movie. Mm-hmm. And um and uh and he said, Paul, you need to meet Dion. Dion's our director, Dion Taylor, and we has got this script. And so we did. We met over the summer. Mm-hmm. We had creative talks. It was really fun. But when they wanted to shoot the movie. I was committed to another film. And then I was on vacation with my family mm-hmm. and I heard the film got it film fell through. They like lost uh, that last bit of money or they didn't get it. Yeah. And so I called, I'm like, hey guys, I know you guys are starting soon, but I wanted you to know I'm available. And and he's like, No way. So we went, I think like ten days later we started shooting. Ten so you didn't have it a lot of time great. to prep. No. It was wild. I yeah. never but the good thing was is it's almost as if all those conversations we had that whole summer, yeah. it just got us ready because we ended up shooting in October. Okay, and it was a bit. I mean, it was a running gun. It was, yeah. but, but that was what was fun about it because you know we didn't have a studio, mm-hmm. and so Code Black he brought helped Jeff brought us together. But then later is when we are distributing it through Code okay. Black and Lionsgate. So it was a non studio picture, and yeah. we got to really have fun and play. And and Sacramento is. Uh, where Dion, our director, okay. is from. And so he had these great locations and mm-hmm. we just had such freedom. And um, It's funny how you say fun because when you watch the trailer, it doesn't, <laughs> it's scary. It's not, you know, it's not a light comedy. I mean, this has got right. some heavy, crazy stuff. Was there any kind of training that you had to do? I mean, like, you're always, like, really good in shape. And oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> you know what? No, for this, she's not meant to know how yeah. to fight. So I didn't, I just like, you, you do that thing that you would do when you're scrappy, when yeah. you just want to like the will to survive. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, not too much like that. And so for people who haven't seen the trailers just yet, just but without giving anything away, just give a little gist of what the movie's about. Yes. Well, the movie is, it's interesting because it starts as a love story and then it develops into this thriller suspense mm-hmm. and it's this couple that they're in love, but she's sort of, you know, on the fence in terms of, being scared to commit because yeah. her life's in a little bit of turmoil and where her career is at. And they go on this weekend getaway mm-hmm. and they make a stop at a truck stop. And that's when everything takes a turn. And um, and it's it, it, from that moment, it becomes a, a, a really fast ride. Yeah. And uh, with there, a lot of things happening. With, with this, was there like one specific scene that became really hard to film or like too intense or just like kind of freaked you out? Well, gosh, that one. I mean, I don't want to give away too much, yeah. but I I think that you can sense that 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 we we shot a lot of these when you see the women in this that yeah. have been um you know taken into the sex trafficking uh, trade. They're they're in these tunnels and and these were real tunnels that mm-hmm. exist um, outside of Sacramento gold mines. This oh. is where you know because that's like that's what they used to do. Yeah, where is mine for gold? So it's wild to be in this mm-hmm. kind of, like very tight space like yeah. that. And um, I don't know. I don't do well, and I, I don't, just that it, it helped mm-hmm. the character and what I was yeah. feeling because everybody's job like jam packed into this tight tunnel and so it was very real and practical not a studio yeah and there's there is that that play like you were saying on that word because it's not traffic like you know like LA bumper to bumper traffic with a C it's with a K yeah. is that a play towards because of the sex trafficking Absolutely. okay yes I think that um that's exactly what it is I mean and, but you can t- you can in that you can of course have you know yeah. artistic freedom <laughs> but um but I think that it best described it. And of course, we know there was a movie in the past, but that was about the drug trade yeah. um, and drug trafficking. And so I think, you know, I think the K helps distinguish it. And this is like, this, is a, this isn't this is just your average thriller. There is a deep underlining serious issue that we have, in, not, in, not only in this country, but in all other countries that are affecting so many women. Is it important to you to find projects that have, you know, also those moments where yeah. you can have a serious issue to bring, a light, bring light to it? I... It is for me to feel passionate about the work that yeah. I'm doing. I feel like I need something to grab onto. Yeah. I, now, I really believe the most important thing we can do as entertainers is to entertain people, you yeah. know, and, and provide an escape. Um, 
so that being said, to me, the best entertainment is when you just when you when you get that kind of information without knowing it. Yeah. You know, and I think that all of us, nobody wants us to, you know, figure out the problem for us. We we, we want to go two plus two equals four. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so so you don't want to bang people over the yeah. head. Um, but I think that what you will discover through the journey of this movie will be surprising yeah. and shocking. And and I just have to say that, you know, it's funny because when you said it's traffic and it's human trafficking, those words allow us to not really see what it really is. Mm -hmm. And it's really slavery. Yeah. One thousand percent. And we yeah. need to know that. Did you did you know a lot about the subject? Like, I did not. I did not know anything about the subject. I um. I mean, I knew that it existed. Yeah. You know, I just didn't realize how far reaching it is. Yeah. And 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 it's not just about sex. It's it's all kind of hard labor. It's the people that are being mistreated, mm -hmm. and um, so that some things can be cheaper for us, and yeah. and um, also service to people that is, you know. Um, uh, for service, yeah, essentially. Right. And, but but really, I think that when people really see this and they start to understand that this is we still have slavery, yeah. And we so hopefully it will make people talk. I think so. And then from that, I think action happens. You are reuniting with one of your co-stars, though, Laz. How is that? Like, does it feel? Is it fun being able to just come back together with someone to work because they're so familiar? Yeah, I, I, obviously. I mean, absolutely. To work with your friends is. Um, is always a fun yeah. thing, but it's funny because in this he's so different from um, the guy yeah. in Baggage Claim. It's ridiculous <laughs> that I was kind of like, "Hey, you're a jerk. What's going on?" Yeah. <laughs> when he was in character, I yeah. mean, dude, he really went in. But I got to tell you, uh, Laz put a performance on that is truly remarkable. I'm very, very happy for him. Have you had a chance to see it all the way uh, fully in time, like from beginning to end? Because I know sometimes, yeah. like, you have to wait until the premiere or whatever happens. Well, you know, well, luckily, you know, um, because I'm a producer on the film as well, you know, we, we definitely have been okay. watching it and, 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 and um, it's gone through some revisions. But but uh, but really, you know, it's um, I'm, I'm happy with this Good. end result, if I may say, because, you know, it's really it's a, this is kind of a very fulfilling moment because everybody that worked on this film did it because they they loved it yeah. and they wanted to. And so it's um, I don't know. I feel like for a collective, mm -hmm. it's all of ours. Yeah. And, and we all worked really hard on it, so I love the tagline though, because it says "refuse to be a victim." Mm. Like I really, really thought that was like not only just I think just in life too of not being someone who's like not being a victim to your circumstance and like overcoming it. Do, Absolutely. Do, is, is there one thing that you feel like in your life you can always look back and be like, "I'm so glad that happened to me because it brought me to where I am now." Oh my God, Natalia! <laughs> um, everything. I mean, I think that the hardest things, the things that you can't imagine, you let you. You, you wouldn't wish on anybody. Mm -hmm. You come out of it and you go, thank God that happened because yeah. that changed. Because you know what? When you accept responsibility for your life and everything that's happening in it, then that only can be bring you growth. Yeah. You know, truly. And, and a greater understanding of yourself and what you're capable of, you know? Mm -hmm. And as I've gotten older and, you know, had to get knocked down a couple times, hit a couple speed bumps, yeah. you realize you will survive. Mm -hmm. And that gives you strength. To endure and 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 um, I would just encourage everybody you know at home is that don't don't feel like you have to settle with the life that you have yeah. and and truly to be fearless I'm telling you it's it's so hard to take just walk out on faith but I promise you that when you do magic happens yeah. you know I read this great quote it says fate loves the fearless. And when you're fearless, your fate is a magical thing. Definitely. And I think like, I'm not sure if you know, but I feel that you really do inspire a lot of women with your strength and your projects that you've been able to put out. And so I think, you know, just you doing this film as well is going to give a lot of women just, I mean, it's so crazy to say like, yeah, a movie inspired me to be stronger. Like I want to be like that character. And it gives us, you know, that energy or that vibe to be like, yeah, I'm going to be strong. And so when people see you, they, I think they associate that with you. Oh, that's really, <laughs> it's really kind, but I I, you know, I really believe, I really believe we all have that in us, truly. And sometimes you just watch something and you, it helps bring that out in yeah. you, you know? But I think a story that happened after we filmed this mm -hmm. show, this movie, Dion, the director, told me about this. Uh, it was in the People magazine. Uh, this woman, this blonde lady, she was jogging and then she disappeared mm -hmm. and for months. And then they found her in the back of these long haul, you know, God. like a semi yeah. truck or even bigger. And she was there with other women and she was beaten and bruised. And That's so crazy. And, uh, and, and like, you know, 
40 pounds lighter and it can happen yeah. to you, but she survived. And yes. that's what you have to, the will, the human spirit to endure she's alive today. That should actually not make us sad, mm -hmm. but let us know how much strength we all have in Definitely. us. I'm sure she would have said, I can't, I would never be able to endure, yeah. but we do. And I, hopefully we can just take that into our like everyday lives. Yeah. Do when you look back, do you, is this how you imagined your career become like, become like, I know sometimes we're like, Oh, I would love to do this. But like, was there a moment where you expected it to be as great as it is and where you're at? No, I don't. I don't that's so hard. I mean, I think that you, we all have, you know, hopes and desires, mm -hmm. but so much has changed for me in my life that, and I, I guess, you know, I, I don't know. I always, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't have a lot of self-confidence is the truth, you know, and to see what might have been possible mm -hmm. for me. And so it's been a growing yeah. uh, experience being in this business and and finding myself and, and learning to love myself, yeah. um, which I didn't. And so I don't think I had these, I didn't see what I see today. What do you think was the turning point? Because, I mean... Like people will look at you and be like, how did she not love herself? How did she not have self-confidence? Look at how confident she looks. Or, you know, there is this, uh, mis you know, representation sometimes because you're on red carpets and yeah. it's, it could be a very glamorous life. But but what do you think did have, what was that turning point for you? Well, I would say, I think that, I mean, hopefully it gives us more compassion for everybody. People can look like they're all confident, but most people, we, we are suffering a little bit, you yeah. know? And, and for me, you, you get these, you know, we get bad ideas in our head probably from our, our childhood, yeah. you know, and, and hard wiring that goes in your brain and you can't, it's hard to undo. Mm -hmm. And I think that obviously when I made some changes in my life, big, you know, life changes, you, you start to like seek out. I kept going, I want to be happy. That's who I am. Yeah. I've always been this way, but I'm, why am I feeling so sad and depressed and anxious? And so I really went out searching mm -hmm. for answers and through that found really amazing people that are healers, you know, and, and, and wise. Mm -hmm. And I, and I love to ask people questions and get their knowledge. Yeah. And, and through that, finally, oh my God, <laughs> you know, kind of was able to unscramble that mess yeah. up there a bit and, and really start to understand that the true joy is like this moment right now. And I think that when you get rid of vanity and caring what everybody else thinks and you realize that, Money and fame, that's just a facade. It's yeah. not real. It really isn't. Mm -hmm. It's why people are so sad in this, is that you reach that and then you're still unhappy. And that's because yeah. you haven't done that, you know, you haven't that's dealt searching. with that other thing yep. that's going on. Yeah, going back and realizing. Because, you know, sometimes you think that you are going to make it and then everybody's going to love you more, you know, but then they love you less. Yeah. The or people they that you care you about. So much you know what more. I mean? Your family and such and friends. But um, but then you know, obviously, you have good family friends mm -hmm. that you know endure. But it's it's a challenging thing, yeah. you know, this fame game and Hollywood <laughs> stuff, and uh, and you, it's just so important to just like go. It's not real. Yeah, it's really not. You know, and something about getting older. You know, I'm 42 now, and I'm not afraid to say it because I'm like it's a beautiful thing. It I feel is. so excited that I've been able to see life go around a couple times yeah. to know that, you know, you will endure and survive. Yeah. And, and, um, and being a mom too. I mean, you got your beautiful necklace with your son Julian's name. <laughs> yeah, I've had this for a while. I always, <laughs> it's, yeah, he's my, he's my heart. Does, did, did motherhood change the way that you approached different projects or like the projects that you wanted to bring into your life? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, motherhood changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really does. I just like, I mean, your life, it, you, you have to have still have a life of your own mm -hmm. to a certain extent, but but really you're always thinking about somebody else no matter yeah. what, and 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 of course so that changes it, and and your capacity to love is increased. You can't believe you're like I'm often saying like only for my child. Yeah, I <laughs> do these things, um, but it's exciting. It's fun. Yeah. It just yeah, it, it changes everything. How is he? Is he what like he's eight now? He's eight. He wow. just turned eight. What kind of questions is he asking now? Oh my gosh, what he is. I mean, I don't even know about questions. This this little boy, he's fascinated by the world, and he's teaching me Aww. all the time. It's wild. I mean, he knows so much about plants and 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 fruits <laughs> and and literally be like, like where'd you get that from? <laughs> it's crazy. So I, I've often been proven wrong by him. 
<laughs> I love it. Uh, can you talk about uh, just what's coming up next for you? What Are you searching for other projects? Do you want to take some time off? I know summer's coming up too. So are you going to take some time, just hang out with your son? Gosh, I wish I, I mean, my son's going to be with me half the time, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to go to London. I'm doing this uh, show called The Rook. And it's it's good because that's the first time I'm playing a villain, essentially. Ooh, so, um, what kind of I'm villain? Excited. Oh, the other side. Here's lots of okay. <laughs> uh, um, but um, but I but 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 we'll make the best because we're yeah. gonna go to London, so we'll get to you know do all our sightseeing together. And he's excited about it. Aww. And it's it's kind of perfect timing because it is summer. Yeah. Um, but it's been nice. I I've been very lucky over the last few years that I've had big chunks of time where I don't have to work and I get to just be just hang out be with him. Yeah. And you know, sort of strategize my grand plan yeah. <laughs> to take over the world no, I'm kidding. Um, but, and then and then you get to work yeah what kind of music you listen to now like what's on your playlist what do you what are you dancing to oh gosh well I love I love so much music I mean um right now Odyssey I really like um and um gosh, I just because I was just listening to this song of his and it varies for me. Varies. Like, I love hip hop. I love Brazilian. I what, love uh, what kind of rappers that. do you like? What are you listening to? Like, is it a little um, Cardi B? I love Chance. Chance I, yes. um, 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 oh my God. How am I? I love this song. I play it all the time. I'm tripping right now. Don't you hate that? Um, I hate, anyways. I'm like that all the time. I like, I don't, I don't never Kend know. Uh, yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Kend okay. Kendrick Lamar. Um, without question. Um, uh, you got it. You know, it's so funny. You know, I, I started playing Biggie and Tupac again, you know, nice. because I was in the car and Cardi B. I, I love Cardi B. I just love her personality. <laughs> you know what it is? I think that it's her honesty. Yes. It's just it's so refreshing. And I just I'm like, that's exciting to me. I hope all of us, everybody just starts being more honest. Tell the truth more because the truth will set you free. It will. And it lets us not take ourselves so seriously yeah. because it's like. We all have our stuff, right? When no one's perfect. And yeah. like, who cares? And I love that her, her honesty doesn't come off like, some people are like, oh, well, I'm honest. Like, yeah, but you're kind of rude about it. It's true. She's she, humble, you yeah. know? And um, and there's just something very vulnerable, but strong mm -hmm. about her. Good on you, mama. I like that. <laughs> what are your pet peeves? Do you have any pet peeves? Lying. Okay. Absolutely. I just, I just lying and, and, and that, any kind of, Falseness. Mm -hmm. It's just it's, it's 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 challenging for me to be in a room with people that are um, in, behaving in a in a in a fake way. To be honest with you, that's I like that. that. That's a good because my my also other pet peeve is when people chew really loud. Like you know when they're <laughs> eating by you and they're just like this they're sandwich. They're enjoying themselves. Yeah, I mean, they are. But I'm like. I'm cringing I like know. oh my god don't stand or I, like for some reason those people love to stand like next to me and I'm like why are you standing next to me just right <laughs> up on my ear just right there smacking. I I love you again you, we talked about this before but your confidence and how you were saying you know it took you some time to find it and, and love yourself um but what advice would you give to other young women who want to pursue their dreams um well I think that what's really important is Hmm. So many things, to be honest with you. Don't be afraid of hard work, right? And really embrace the true you. Mm -hmm. Like, really, it's not. This is that's what works in yeah. acting. To be is is the being more specific, you know, and and being an interesting character. Yeah. So I would probably even say that as you're on the journey to keep like exploring life and all of its different like ways. I mean, because the more jobs you have and the more things you see the better actor you'll be mm -hmm. because you'll be able to bring that to it. So don't, I don't know, don't spend all your time going to acting classes and okay. only hanging around actors and only talking about acting because you're trying to portray life. Yeah. So I would say go out there and like, you know, just take a huge bite out of life and 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 don't be in such a rush because mm -hmm. it's going to happen when it happens. And lastly, truly, and I know this might sound hard, but it's not once you get past it, it's to celebrate other people. It's, yeah. It's your time when it's your time. Nobody ever takes anything away from you. Yeah. You don't lose to anybody. You have to understand that that was their moment. Mm -hmm. That's for them. And you and if you can celebrate them, then you'll be celebrated when it's your turn too. Yeah. But if you come out and you judge and you and you criticize, don't be or surprised. Compare. You will be they will criticize you. Yeah. And they will judge you. And it's very much I've just seen it now so clearly that that if you're really in integrity you're kind to others, others will be kind to Definitely. you. And, and so I would really just, 
I'd really just encourage that you celebrate other people no matter what. I, I, have, I, have, I just want to say this. I have a really good friend and she does music. And she's like, she came up to me. She goes, Paula, look at this girl. She's my twin. She's like, I'm going to go see her tonight. I'm going to go see her perform. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to go, go too. And I'm like, and you are amazing because now at 42, I can do this. Yeah. But when I was your age and like, you know, I don't know, she's in 20s. I don't know if I could have. To like, you know? yeah, to celebrate someone else's yeah, success. Oh, she's my twin. It would have yeah. felt like, oh my Com gosh, what, is that? That is, what does that mean? And that's fear. Yeah. Right? Fear is that someone can, that she'll be better than you or, yeah. that, or that she'll take something from you. But when you're not acting in fear, you're just like, you can mm -hmm. give love, feel the love. And well, I feel like, to, to be honest with you, I don't know if you've experienced this, but I've, at least when I first, first started in radio, it always felt like there was only enough room for one woman or maybe two women. And uh, now it's 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 so much better. I will say that because it is like we I really get to celebrate and be in a, in a space where everyone's invited to be a yeah. part of something. And someone said to me, they're like, yeah, that's because sometimes people will say, well, there's only one piece of cheese. So and so everyone comes and fights for the one piece when all of a sudden we turn around and outside there's a big old pizza like out there. Right. And all That's like, brilliant. let's all get together and celebrate each other. Let's bring each other up. Let's build something together as well. I really love that because I've been saying to people it's that something might happen, right? You might, you know, find yourself on one path. But if you're still alive, the story has not been finished mm -mm. and you don't know right if you turn out that door and you find that big piece of pizza exactly and that when you are fearless and you yeah. have faith you know like just stay there stay just stay in your integrity and yeah. try because then it will happen and, and really also I just really believe that that positive thinking you know someone told me Paula your angels they have to work that much harder if you're negative Yes. You got to, if you act positive, you say positive thoughts, then your angels can help you that much more. Always. And I, so I would just really encourage everybody to just, against all odds, even when it sounds like you're lying to yourself, yeah. say it anyways, because <laughs> it's that those words have power. They do. Uh, are you excited for, I mean, I know that there has been a hot topic, you know, the last couple years or so about diversity in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And with movies, I feel like, like Black Panther and Get Out, we've been able to see this great representation of everyone of people of color does it excite you or do you feel like there's still so much more work to do it definitely excites me i i really believe in you know staying in this moment and and seeing what's great in this mm -hmm. moment and also manifesting everything that you want to yeah. have happen in the, and, and so i wouldn't work on the negative i'd only say that that it's been an incredible time i don't know the end of last year it, it was like christmas came early the the world blew up and and truth was revealed. Yeah. And, I, um, you know, I've been harassed and I was told never to tell anybody to, you know, and and those I'm lies sorry. don't. Oh, yeah, don't be. It's like that's just life. You know, yeah. that was then. This is now. Yeah. And and I think what comes out of that is not us trying to fix the past. Yeah. It's about, OK, that's what happened now. How do we make it better? Mm -hmm. Right. And so they made it better by saying, well, are you sure there's a woman on that? Is there a woman director yeah. on it? And I'm like, um, I'll take that. Yeah. And until and then, because that's a really great thing, yeah. and and hopefully we'll get to a more equal place, and let's make sure we get paid the same amount as well. Definitely, because especially it's too, kind it of just, unreal to be honest with you. I think I'm a little Pollyanna sometimes, and uh, people's cruelty and unfairness shock me. Definitely it's surprising. It's it's. It's baffling too, and I, and again, like you said, like I I like the attention that is being put on it because I think sometimes like people will will want to shield their eyes and not believe that that's either it was happening or if it didn't happen or if it's like no 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 it's it shouldn't be like that like oh I don't believe it or they just want to shrug it off and it was like how did so many people shrug it off like this I don't get it and I just want to say that that if you do that in life and you do that in your relationships and everything that's how everything explodes it's like yeah. you know you can only keep a lid on something for so long. It's gonna like bubble up, but if you took that lid off early, mm -hmm. could have been an easier thing. Yeah, definitely. You know? um, are you into like music festivals? I want to be. <laughs> I want to like. <laughs> I'm a mom, and so I'm like, oh my god, I'm super excited. I really want to go to Burning Man. <gasps> I would oh. love that. I got my kid this weekend, so Coachella's out. Well, you know, Coachella does two weekends, girl. I heard that, and then I got to go out of town for oh, work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Responsibilities of an adult. But um, but but Bernie is a little further out, and I really want to do that one. You, okay, so, so I'm, I'm like, Mom, you're going to have to keep him. I'll, I guess I'll have to like, go off campus yeah. to call a couple times. <laughs> but just like, at least for a few days, it'd be fun. Do you know anyone that's gone to Burning Man? I do. Okay, Actually, you, the woman that's in traffic, that, uh -huh. uh, the, the, the young woman that comes to... 
That to I, the door? The door, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. She had just come from Burning Man, oh, and she funny. got me so jazzed on it. I was like, yeah. The craziest part that I, because I knew one friend that went, he told me some crazy Tell stories. Me, oh. well, like, he told me a story. Okay. I like crazy, though. I'm he told lie. me a story about a tent where you had to go in, and they just wash you. Like, it's like and this one big mess. problem? <laughs> Sounds kind of amazing, Natalia. I'm sorry. I mean, you're just young. You don't know yet. You don't understand. No, but it was like they they lined you up and then they just like hosed you down. And I was like, why? (laughs) Sounds like a good time to me. I don't know what to tell you. I guess it just kind of shocked me. I guess like I am a little naive sometimes. I'm like, well, they're doing a service. I hear it gets really dirty around there. That's true. So, I mean, just get a hold of people down every once in a while. Keep it slightly clean. The stench down. (laughs) So, okay, I didn't see it that way. Yeah, right. It, it is a it bit of a service. Yeah. What do you okay. mean? You also have to like, like some, I think some people, they like, because everything barters there. So you have to bring something where people are going to be able to barter with you. What's going to be your stand? What are you going to bring to like sell or whatever? <laughs> are you going to be like cocktails? No. Maybe like knit no. something? That, that would be really difficult. <laughs> um, I, I mean, especially in the heat. No, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I have to think about that one. Maybe it could be. I, I could give. Um, I mean, this in the nicest way. I could give massages. Okay. I could. I'm. I'm a really good. I'm good at that. Actually. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, are you dating? Do you date now? I I've been dating. Okay. And now I have a boyfriend. Oh, <gasps> shut up. Yes. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. I see because for me, like growing up, my mom was single for a really long time, and I was the like stubborn child who like didn't. Not that I didn't want to see her date, but I was like, "Who are you? Tell me your details." Evil like I child. was like, I was like, yeah, I want. And I would tell her like, "No, no, no, he's not good enough." Like kick him to the curb. But my she my mom got remarried, and I love my stepdad. Oh, I love great. him, that's and I great. he's just like the moment I met him. It's like we know as children, um, but it is because you were, you know, with Robin for so yes. long. So it's new now. This yeah. is like a new kind of dating it scene is. for you. Is it fun? It is. I mean, I, I mean, I've had so much fun to be honest with yeah. you, and I think mean, you know, get to meet people, and I, and, and I think that you got to look at dating differently. I, I, I was like, I'm not looking for the one. Yeah, I'm looking for fun, and I, but I mean it in that like that it takes that onus off of it, mm-hmm. and then. And then if you do meet the one, it can just kind of spring up on you. You yeah. wouldn't at least expect it because going out on the hunt for that is forget about it. Because it. then you try to make people something they aren't. You know what I mean? And that's also yeah. how we lie to ourselves and or we pretend like that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But if you're really observant, you know, people usually tell you exactly who they are at the very beginning. Yeah. I, I felt madly in love with something. They let me know from the very beginning that their girlfriend didn't like that. Their ex-girlfriends oh, are wow. unhappy. And I go, oh, I'm going to fix that. I'll be the one. <laughs> right? And you're like, you can't fix anybody but Mm-mm. yourself. Nuh-uh. I remember when I first started dating before I met my fiance, like, it was like, because I did online dating. And so, like, every guy, I was like, this one's going to be the one. Watch. Nice. Cause, because, like, one conversation was good. And then I would go on the date, and I was so disappointed and let down. I was like, this guy. And I think that that's what I would really say to women, though. It's like, and, and just people in general, it, partnership is really great. Yeah. But you really do need to be good with being on your own. And Definitely. it's crazy, of course, right when I'm like, I'm so cool being on my own. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like this whole thing. Then you meet somebody mm-hmm. because, and now I know how to be treated. I know how I want to be treated because I'm treating myself that yeah. way. Yeah. And you you know what I mean? And, and honestly, I couldn't be a good person to, to be loved by either if I'm not loving myself. Definitely. I'm, you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't know how to do that properly. Mm-hmm. So, um, Oprah, always, Oprah always says, uh, people will treat you the way that you let them treat you. Hundred percent, you are responsible. Once it happens more than twice, I'd say, yeah, it's on. Yeah, because like you will mess up, not mess up once, but maybe you'll say. So like, I remember one time my fiance said something, and I went, I didn't like the way that you said that, and I was like, mm. maybe you might feel like this is me being sensitive, and I was like, but that kind of hurt my feelings, and he's never done it again. again. People. Honesty again. It's just do it right now because if you kept that one inside, then they build, they it's build, resentment. and then people start pouting, which is my le- cannot bear. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> All right. I, well, it was such a pleasure to have you in oh, studio. But everyone, you, please Tyler. go see. Tra- when people see this movie, what do you hope they take away from it? Um. God, that's all. We, I, I hope that they come out of it and they're like excited and you know sweating a little bit <laughs> and like and that they want to talk about what they've seen um but that they just feel like they were you know taken away yeah definitely oh congratulations i'm so excited uh, i got to meet you, you. Oh, it's nice <laughs> to meet you too i appreciate it thank, oh, you, thank you so much 